What's up, crew? Chris with Clover Tack. Welcome back to the channel. Day one here at, at TriggerCon 2023 in Wichita, Kansas. Just going to walk the floor real quick, take you guys along with me. So let's go. So there is the Jumbotron. And so we will kind of walk through. We'll hit on some of the high points, some of our friends, and the booths that they have. And obviously, they're going to talk on the PA system. There's our buddies at Axel. All the cool stuff that, uh, you know, Axel obviously is doing. The uh, official ear pro of the Clover Tech channel, obviously. So, was uh, them. Probably know that guy that just popped up on the screen. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what all they're talking about, but. Oh, uh, really? We got Watchtower, pretty cool stuff there. Of course, night vision in the house. Pretty good uh, sights and stuff like that, night vision. Definitely cool stuff. I played with that before. Canic, a lot of your Canic fans. And so, yeah, you know uh, all about the uh, mechanics there, Century, of course. If you're into the AK's Maxim, you're into all the tactical stuff. Hyperfire, probably my favorite, even though I'm not a big user of aftermarket triggers, probably my favorite, Silencer Central, coming up over here as well, there's Silencer Central, some awesome stuff, Zeiss, doesn't hardly get any better for optics for sure than Zeiss, John Whitcar over here, always awesome to see uh, Gearhead Works in the uh, John Wick car that they do. I don't know which way to go. We're going to go this direction. Maybe. Because uh, there's the uh, Oracle Arms. Now they're doing some 2311 stuff. Oracle Arms is. Uh, yeah, the middle row here. There is G.O. Global Ordnance. There's Sam. We see Sam in there hanging out. Got the uh, Shrybog carbines there. Talked with uh, Cat a little earlier in this morning actually about the uh, Strybogs there and they're having some issues because of the whole pistol brace thing uh, and some ATF issues. Dead Air, B Team of course over there, give them the rundown. They've got a really cool suppressor, uh, pretty neat. Talked to them a little bit about that earlier. There's Tyrant CNC, cool stuff that they have as well. Just try to run through the floor here quickly as I can in a little video. Pristine, of course. It's pretty cool. Bolt action stuff with Pristine. Hollow Sun. Everybody knows Hollow Sun. All the different optics that, of course, Hollow Sun has. Shallow Tech. PWS, Lone Wolf. We'll have them on the podcast here before too long. Definitely. Definitely. So there is their stuff, suppressors, handguns, all kinds of uh, all kinds of cool stuff. This will go around the uh, back side here. I'll try to talk, but we got uh, SDS. Of course, all kinds of imports here with SDS. Uh, there's the uh, Tusa stuff, of course, with SDS. Wait for the camera. And we got, of course, some shotguns over here. I was eyeballing these earlier because, uh, you know, you know, me and the shotguns, they're freaking amazing. But uh, check them out. Woohoo! Got to talk to them a little more in depth about these over and unders. Probably a little later. Spandau, not too familiar with those. CZ has their big, huge booth and truck, whatever trailer, all in here with all of the. Uh, CZ stuff. Of course, we've got EAA. Wave Chase. Wave. Hey, what's up? But uh, all the EAA stuff there. Obviously, there's Paul. Paul is back. Of course, he was in there in round two. I'm in two. Their magazine. There's the CD truck. Or CZ, I should say. Truck. Matador Arms is over there. One Shot Systems, Badger Ordnance, 
the biggest scope rings and red dot mount ever, I think, on the planet. Pretty cool. There's Manus, all of their training stuff. Real quick, I need to give a shout out to Craft Holsters who helped with some travel accommodations to cover Duracon 2023. Now, I've got quite a few Craft Holsters. Uh, some of my favorites uh, are like this basket weave holster here for my Ruger Blackhawk, uh, as well as an IWB holster for my CZ75. But no matter what model firearm handgun you got, uh, they've got you covered probably over there because they've got holsters for a ton of stuff. Old world craftsmanship great materials uh, you just can't beat it uh, if you happen to be a new customer of craft holsters i think you can use code bullseye 10 that'll save you 10 percent uh, and regardless of whether you jump on there and shop them or not if you see them around the social interwebs or if you message them through the website make sure you tell them that uh, the clover tech channel definitely appreciates the support and uh, helping make these trips to different events here as well gideon optics is one chris on the 740 uh we did a reaction video i think with some gideon optics stuff and could i have to definitely talk with these folks and uh this will play around with some more of their stuff because i was impressed by that stuff that uh, the work that chris from the 740 did her uh, friends at black rain of course over here and we'll see them uh here a little while in Tulsa as we make that trip. Uh, 1110, that's some medical gear there. Of course, we got Walter in the house. There's Silas of Go way over there. Walter in the house. We're going to sneak in here around Vince and just scan the case a little bit. Real quick, like that. Try to be kind of quiet because they were filming in there. I don't want to jack up their filming. But uh, we'll run. Rainier, of course, who is the ones that uh, basically got TriggerCon going here, but all the cool Rainier stuff, including their amazing, awesome little quad here, just bad to the bone. And then we got one more aisle. We walk around the uh, side over here, and we're going to. You see the upper deck. There's also some stuff on the upper deck. I got to cover that, I don't think, in this one, but Stroop Knives is up there for sure. GLA is right in that area. But, uh, obviously, JK Armament here and all the coolness that they've got. And then got another aisle. There's Staccato HK. There's uh, hanging out, of course, here. All the Staccato stuff, of course. Hanging out here. G9 Defense. Perfect full. There is, uh, check it out, it's one of the Robs from, uh, both of the Robs actually from, from Lionheart. Hadn't seen them, hadn't seen them yet. Just, just wave at everybody. Just doing a quick day one video, man. Almost done with it. Nighthawk and Korth. Of course, over here, they're covered up. And rightfully so, they should be covered up. Let's see if we can get in here. Get a little bit of what they got going on, maybe. Beretta hanging out. Everybody knows the Beretta. Trigger Tech, of course. His rifle speed. We're almost done coming up. Barrett over here. Everybody knows and loves, of course, the Barretts. And there they are, the big Barretts. Just all kinds of stuff. Kimber in the house as well. And over here, there's Life Pod, Pro Mag, Timney, Luther AR in the house, Strike Industries, Obsidian, scanner table, real quick. Hey. Come on in. Come on. Don't know who those guys were. Crazy influencer, those guys. Got to be careful with them. And then, uh, check out this one so yeah that's pretty much it i'm gonna get over here where we can look at the uh billboard got all kinds of sponsors for trigger con obviously going on day one there's a walkthrough but that's gonna pretty much do it for this one we'll have some more videos individual companies looking at some individual items and things like that uh, as it goes on but just wanted to get something out there give an idea what trigger con is all about 
uh, this particular trade show open to the public every year. So you can make that trip no matter who you are, hang out, check out some cool products and uh, all that jazz. So yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Until next time, don't forget to change fire freedom. Bye.